Hello everyone and welcome to a new DB Schema tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to connect DB Schema to any database. In the Start New Project section, we choose Connect to Database and then click on Start. In the New Database Connection dialog, we have to choose an alias for our database. This is the name that will refer to the connection throughout the application. In the next section, we have to choose the database management system that we will use. In this video tutorial, I'm going to use SQL Server. Next, we have to choose the method and driver for our connection. Each database can have different connection methods or drivers. For example, SQL Server has two different drivers and three different connection methods. For this video, we'll choose the native driver with the database authentication method. Next, we have to provide all the information that will compose the JDBC URL. In the Server Location section, we can choose if the database is located on this local computer or on a remote computer or custom port. If the server is located on a remote computer, we have to provide the server host and port. To check if the connection is working properly, you can press the Check button. There are a few common reasons why you may receive an error message when checking the connection. Some databases, for example MySQL, don't always have remote connections enabled by default and you have to enable them manually. Other databases, like SQL Server, don't have the TCP IP communication enabled. Or in some cases, the connection can be blocked by Windows Firewall. If this happens, we have to create a new rule that will allow our program or connection to pass the firewall. In cases like this, or any other similar cases where you encounter an error, you can press the Help me to connect button and follow the instructions. If you have difficulties in finding the host or port of your remote server, follow the instructions on database and connectivity. For this tutorial, we'll choose the local server. Next, we have to provide the user and password. These credentials are usually defined at database installation. Next, we have to select the name of the database. All the information provided in this section will be translated into a JDBC URL. If you are using a cloud database, you can simply paste the JDBC URL here and connect. If you need more information about the JDBC URL, press the documentation button. If you want to add a new database to DB Schema, press the Add Driver button. In the SSH Tunnel section, you can create an SSH connection to encrypt the communication to the database. Next, we can choose different options for our connection. For example, we can give different names for the same schema over multiple databases. Now that we covered the basics, you should be able to easily connect DB Schema to your database and start your first project. Keep in mind that every database has its own particular requirements. If you encounter any problems, try to follow the instructions from the Help Me to Connect button. If you still can't establish the connection, feel free to contact us on our technical support page. Thanks for watching and see you next time.